people are emphatic in their commitment to the Lord. And the whole exchange ends with a covenant renewal. Now, lest we think that this is merely lip service, this, this in fact was a great moment in the history of Israel. One of those all too few times when the people really got it right. And so our reading this morning stands as a shining example and a charge for us. Will we serve the Lord or the gods of our times? So I wonder, do we choose or are we chosen? The answer, of course, is yes. Out of great love, God has chosen all of us. And yet, at the same time, you and I are called to choose every day whom we will serve. The core refrain of Joshua's message, after all, is serve God. And serving God means worshiping God alone and not other gods. So what does that look like on a day-to-day, in a sort of rubber-hits-the-road sort of manner? Well, off the top of my head... Will I choose to live in kindness, or will I let old hurts taint my responses to those around me? Will I begin and end each day in prayer, or will I try to go it alone? Will I entrust God with a portion of what I have been given, my time, my talent, and treasure even, or will I hoard it all away in fear? Perhaps, unsurprisingly, In the light of Joshua's challenge, the people affirm that they will never forsake the Lord and serve other gods. But they aren't just imitating their leader here. They have their own reasons. They remember what God has done for them in the past, bringing them and their ancestors out of Egypt, out of slavery, doing great signs in their sight, protecting them along the way and driving out the people in their land. And because God has done all of this for them, They add another reason. And we hear it in verse 18. For he is our God. And not only is he God of their past, but he is also God of their future too, right? Because if God saves them once, he will save them, surely save them again. You know, we can thank God every day, dear people, that God has chosen us first. And continues to choose us over and over again. Because of that, all of my choices and all of your choices every single day are made under a benevolent cloud of grace. And God isn't just the God of our past, but He is the God of our future. Two, a God who has saved us once and continues to raise us to new life again and again and again every time our sins are forgiven. So, dear people, whom do we serve this day? In Jesus' name, amen. So the hymn of the day in your blue hymnals is 712, and I'll be the leader, and if you would be the all, that would be wonderful.
I invite you to stand as you are able. And together let us confess our faith. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We pray for the church, the world, and for all those in need. Remind us of God, O oh Lord, of all the ways in which you have guided our feet through this life and all the blessings we enjoy because of you. May we never take for granted what we have nor lose our gratitude for this amazing life which we inhabit. Steadfast God. The world around us can sometimes be a confusing place. We are tempted on all sides by things which will fill our souls only with emptiness. Draw us back to the center of that which truly gives life, faith and trust in you. Steadfast God. Our choices define who we are and to whom we belong. May our lives reflect the creator who gave us birth, breath. And when we, at, and when we are at our cro a crossroads, give us wisdom and guidance to choose what serves you best. Steadfast God. Deliver our bodies from all that compromises our well-being, disease, discontent, addiction, and abuse. Make us whole again to serve you another day. Impart your special, a special healing upon those we name today. We pray especially for those who are grieving, for the family and friends of Harry Wood, for Marge, for Janetta, for Betty, for Andy, for Corey, for Jennifer, for Pam, for Ruth, Carla, and Sophia. For those in extended care from this community, we pray for Sylvia, Marilyn, Luann, Clarence, Lucille, Donna, M, Claris, and Patty. Guard both day and night, dear Lord, those who serve in our military, both at home and abroad. We pray for Reed, Michael, Matthew, Jordan, Lucas, and Mitchell. And for those we name before you now in the quiet of our hearts. Steadfast God. Joshua stood firm in the face of competing loyalties, showing what a faithful servant truly looks like. Give us his courage and conviction to honor you with our lives until that great day when we will be joined forever to our forebearers in faith. Steadfast God, hear our prayer. We trust you enough, O Lord, to offer these most precious concerns into your loving care. Hear our prayers and gladden our hearts in the assurance of your promises. In Jesus' name, amen. The peace of Christ be with you always. And now let us share that peace with one another.
offerings and tithes are gifts to God. you have done for us, O oh Lord, we would never come to the end. Bless these gifts and inspire us to be generous people who always look for those in need, desiring to share what we have been so generously given. For the sake of your Son, Jesus. Amen. Let us pray. Praise and thanks to you, Holy God, for by your word you made all things. You spoke light into darkness, called forth beauty from chaos, and brought life into being. For your word of life, O oh God. We give you thanks and praise. For your word, you called your people Israel to tell of your wonderful gifts, freedom from captivity, water on the desert journey, a pathway home from exile, wisdom for life with you. For your word of life, O oh God. Through Jesus, your word made flesh, you speak to us and call us to witness forgiveness through the cross, life to those entombed by death, the way of your self-giving love. For your word of life, O oh God, we give you thanks and praise. Send your spirit of truth, O oh God. Rekindle your gifts within us. Renew our faith, increase our hope, and deepen our love for the sake of a world in need. Faithful to your word, O oh God, draw near to all who call on you. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory forever. Amen. 
gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. together let us do so singing in your green hymnals hymn number 503 Now, dear people, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Peace be to God.